All right, so welcome back to the One Class channel. Again, my name is Joey. I'm going to be your math teacher for this session. So what's going to happen for the session is that uh, I basically compiled a list of about 10 questions, um, predominantly from basically if you're in Ontario, the grade 10 to about the grade 12 uh, math curriculum. So this spans from anywhere between grade 10, 11, uh, advanced functions and calculus. And if you're tuning in from the U.S., it's mostly the end of Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and the pre-calculus type of questions. So I have about 10 questions for us uh, for this hour. Don't know if we'll get through all of them, but we will uh, attempt to. Again, um, if, you're here for, if you're here for the first time, uh, thank you so much for watching. What we're doing at one class is that we are compiling videos and live streams of uh, teachers verifying solutions for to commonly asked questions or frequently asked questions um, in secondary school level math and chemistry, as well as in the university and college level as well. So again, my name is Joey. I'm currently an Ontario school educator um, in, um, and uh, working for one class. And here, uh, my uh, teachable subjects or my subjects of interest are chemistry and mathematics. So uh, without further ado, let's get started on these problems for today. And I'll be able to uh, um, kind of explain and go through these solutions for you all. So let's get started. So what we have here is our first question here is, is asking us, what is the limit as x approaches infinity? of ln x so let me write <clears throat> let me write that down for you so it's asking us uh what is the limit as x approaches infinity of ln x here so this is our this is our this is the concept of what a limit is and if you aren't familiar with what a limit is, it's probably what you would int be introduced in about grade, um, kind of grade 12 calculus in terms of uh, pre-calculus. So when we're talking about limits, as a limit approaches something here. So what we know here is we actually know our, um, we know we know, we know our function right here. Our function here is ln x here. So it's the natural logarithm of x here. And what this is, the uh, ln of x here, if I were to graph it for you, and you can actually solve this problem by either graphically or kind of using logic as well. But you can think of a um, <clears throat> you can think of ln x here as a um, as kind of a logarithmic function. So what that means is that you kind of get something like so. You kind of get something like this, um, and it kind of like steadily increases and increases as it heads towards infinity here. So you can think of this here as um, f of x equals ln x. And if you wanted a better um, a better diagram, what you could do is actually, again, I highly encourage uh, desmos.com. And again, it shows you really um, what this graph looks like. So if I were to type in ln x here, as you can see, <clears throat> um, this guy here uh, is it kind of it's going to steadily increase towards when we go towards the right hand side, right? And again, if I were to go towards positive negative infinity, again, this lawn can't be zero here. So there's a little uh, asymptote here that goes all the way down here. Um, so uh, we, so basically, again, we know that lo the natural logarithm can never be a negative number. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, as we ex approaches infinity here, it's going to basically steadily increase here. So when we, when we, when we, when we, oh, let me, let me go back here. So basically this is, this here's our function and it's asking us what is the limit as X approaches infinity? Well, if it X approaches infinity here, then my Y, well, where will my Y go? My Y will also approach infinity, right? If I plug in, use my calculator, ln, ln at E, we know ln E is one, right? We know ln E is one. And if you plug in ln, uh, let's say uh, ln like a um, hundred thousand or something like that, or a very very big number, you realize that the, the y value is going to basically increase at a very very slow pace, but it will still increase here. So this here means that um, means that my limit as x approaches infinity here, it doesn't actually approach a specific value. This also approaches infinity here. So it means that in this case here, the limit does not exist for this function here. And it equals, um, it's approaching basically to infinity here. It doesn't approach a specific number. So this solution is correct. The limit is going to approach infinity, right? So this here, as ln approaches infinity this year, this is also equal to infinity, right? Because again, this y value is, is going to basically uh, keep increasing and this will not make it so that, um, it would make it so that it would approach infinity as well. So the limit as x as the limit of ln x as x approaches infinity equals infinity here. So this solution here is correct. And it's a great analysis as well. 
again, when we're talking about limits, they either converge to a specific point, a specific quiet point, let's say one or two or three or whatnot, or it could either be uh, infinite, so it can go towards infinity here, or the limit does not have to exist here. So there's three options when we're talking about the limits here. So good solution is correct. Good analysis here. <clears throat>